Race six on the card of Phillies and Mayors Handicap over 1,200 metres at the 77 level. 11 runners carded to face the starter, and as these races often are, another tricky handicap. In fact, uh, Warren, the first six races on the card, the maidens and the handicaps are for Phillies and Mayors, so a real poser. But I guess, yeah, we can perhaps, well, I'm certainly looking to the younger Number six, Umsun Duzi, the three-year-old daughter of Active Water, continue to improve. There are only three three-year-olds in this field of 11. They are number three, Risa, who's a visitor from the Ashley Fortune Stable. Number seven, Purple Moons Up, lightly raced three-year-old from the Allison Wright Stable. And of course, number six, Umsun Duzi, who is trained by Justin Snaith, Snaith and will be ridden by Serena Moodley. Only had six starts for two wins and two seconds, so there's nothing wrong with her form line. She won last time out at the expense of Arctic Princess coming late. She can build on that. Absolutely. You quite like her. So do I. I've tipped her first in the official Gold Circle race card publication. Her last three starts. She's recorded two wins. Her rating, I think, is still very good. I think she's still well rated. She loves the course and distance. Four starts, two wins. Progressive. She's by Act of War. And just on a little personal note, we were up at Summerhill the other day and I met Act of War. What a fantastic stallion. Lovely pedigree, lovely temperament, lovely everything. And uh, I've got uh, high hopes for Act of War as a stallion. And here's one of his fillies that I think is going to go on and win plenty of races. So, yes, Ims and Doozy, big runner, winning chance, going about it the right way. I'm not quite sure what to make of Purple Moon Zappa. She beat Siwa Oasis in her penultimate start. Siwa Oasis would have run by now, earlier on today. And uh, last time was a, a poor run, but valid excuses. I just find it hard to assess Purple Moons up, but a young three-year-old. Young three-year-old, certainly the jury's out, but I think has scope to put that indifferent run behind her. So I'm expecting better from number seven, Purple's Moons up, but, but of the two, I definitely prefer number six, Ums and Doozy. But there are a couple, couple of hard-knocking old-timers uh, with a bit of form behind their name. Absolutely. Number eight, Silver Dazzle is overdue, but very consistent. The mare by Silvano. Good run to Hawker Typhoon. Was the fastest finishing last time out when running second to Hugs Accepted. She was 10th at the 400 and absolutely flew. But 575 days since she's last found the winner's enclosure. 10 beat it. 684 days since she's last seen the winner's enclosure. But on recent efforts, she's certainly going to have a chance. But I've found one here for us, Graham, number four, Dark Mistress, from the Glen Cotson stable. Young Zuma's going to take four kgs off her back, and therefore she's going to race with 48 kgs. She's going to think she's loose. Positively drawn, fair form, three runs ago, as you mentioned, off air. She went to the front, the Silvano filly, she tore off to the front and uh, faded uh, tamely in the home straight. Then she ran sixth to Wishful Girlin, who's franked the form, and that last run to Ums and Doozy wasn't a bad effort. So for me, a big place chance, Dark Mistress. But like you, they might have to run some to beat the act of war filly. Well, the four kilogram apprentice clan can certainly bring number four, Dark Mistress, a lot closer to number six, Ums and Doozy. So I definitely would include number four, Dark Mistress, in trifecta and quartet com uh, calculations. Along with number eight, Silver Dazzle, number nine, Retail Therapy, number 10, Beat It. Not sure what to make of number three, Raisa. Lyle Hewitson's taken the ride for the Ashley Fortune Stable. That's certainly in this daughter of Captain of All's uh, favour, but not sure what to expect. I'm going to row in. For me, the way I'm structuring my bets, I'm going wide in other races. I'm going to go quite short here and lean quite heavily on number six, Ims and Doozy. Ims and Doozy for Graham. I agree. I think she's the one they all have to beat, but I've got a healthy respect for number four, Dark Mistress. With only 48 kilograms on her back, she'll think she's loose.